welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ryan, and this is The Groom, and we're here for a midweek movie review with The Groom, where we watch the Netflix original, The Perfection, which was about... The Perfection. Uh, the Perfection starts with a cellist who's taking care of her elderly mother, and um, upon her elderly mother's passing, she reconnects with her former cellist instructor teacher guide that re that runs a private school for exceptional ch cellists in the world she meets back up with a current protege the new hot thing in everything that's cello music in the world uh lizzie who is phenomenal getting ready to go out on like a world tour and you know just done with the school and they are tasked with picking the next great thing, the great, the next great person in cello music, in um, some town in China, I believe they were in, and um, you know they they meet up and uh, they kind of connect, and Lizzie's like, oh, you know, you were my hero growing up, and I wanted to be just like you, et cetera, et cetera. They have a wonderful day of picking the new pro protege. They have a fun-filled night full of dancing and hot tantric lesbian sex and the next day lizzie's getting ready to go out on an adventure kind of she said she wants to unplug from the world which what does she call it slow buses and small towns and Something she was pretty like much that. she said she's going west and she's going west on some type of like little tour and while she gets on, when she gets on the bus, she starts getting sick, and it. They end up getting thrown off the bus in the middle of nowhere, and end up walking down this old dirt road, and, you know, I'm trying to think of what was in the trailers. I don't, I don't really want to spoil anything. She starts to hallucinate and vomit bugs. bugs and see bugs under her skin, and and like you see them crawling under yeah. her skin and stuff, and then. You we know, should probably just leave it off there. Yeah, it was... I mean, even if you watch the trailer, you have no idea what's going on in this mm -hmm. movie. This is... We pride ourselves on being on being two people who can really pick out what happens in a, in a movie. And this was crazy. Well, there was, like, one thing we didn't pick out. It, it, was, it was crazy, though. There were a lot of twists in it. Mm -hmm. We thought... We, we, we thought certain things with the mom... Turned out to be wrong. Uh, it or maybe we were. I don't. I don't. I don't even know if we really were wrong. To be honest, <laughs> this was. It, it. This. This was a great movie. I really liked this movie. It was everything that uh, other people in a horror community hyped us up. Uh, my friend had far had far sighted. He said he really enjoyed this movie. Jay Bond from Blood, Bath & Beyond said this is like a top five film of the year so far. And, you know, we gave it our shot. And I don't know about you, but I really like this movie. It is a good movie. All right. So what did you enjoy most about this movie? I enjoyed... Let's see. I liked uh, the effects, definitely. More so towards the latter part of the movie, almost at the end. The effects were great. I really liked that. I liked that they would kind of show you the scenario, and then they do a rewind thing, and then show you what actually happened in the scenario, which was pretty cool. Which we called, like, three out of four of them. I mean, the last one was kind of... It wasn't, like, a, a huge mind blow for me, at least. But I thought it was done really well. Mm -hmm. I I am from a very musical family. My sister plays multiple instruments. My father plays multiple instruments. My stepmother does. I do. My grandparents do. Not this guy. And I, I really appreciated that aspect of it because I know how much goes into being classically trained and... There should be a lot of respect in it because it is so hard, especially, you know, when you're a child, learning that discipline, learning how to train your ear. It's it's an amazing experience and definitely not a not so amazing experience for some people. If you have to go through a lot of things, if you have very mean people around you, you know. 
So yeah, practical effects like Why'd you look at me when you said that? You're so mean. They're gonna think I'm mean to you. Sit down. What did you like? For me. Um You know I'm a big suspense thriller guy. I thought the balance in this movie was perfect. There was a lot of psychological, a lot of suspense, a lot of thrill, and then when you get to the end, the gore is phenomenal. Oh, it was great. The gore was great. I think it was a perfectly balanced movie. I think I think it was very well shot. Oh, the cinematography was, was amazing. beautiful. I just, stuff that should be blurry was blurry. The way they brought stuff into focus and out of focus. Um, just the the aesthetics of every place they shot was beautiful. The home that they shot in was absolutely mm-hmm. gorgeous. And it was the, the I, I would say the cinematography and the acting were so good oh the acting was great it was it was phenomenal and I, but yeah no that that's my favorite my favorite thing was you know the the i think this was just a well put together movie netflix is really killing it like some netflix movies. is really <laughs> except for bird box i'm still pissed <laughs> about bird box um but no i'm saying netflix is killing it with like they find a lot of they mix in no-name actors and actresses with some well, well-known well um, actors and actresses, and I think that mix is really good. The one thing we didn't see is we didn't see John Malkovich in this. We didn't see MGK either. Yeah, we didn't see MGK or John Malkovich. Bummer. I mean, John Malkovich, I, I, somehow I, his soul belongs to Netflix. I kind of looked for them, like, every time. I'm like, all right, where's John Malkovich in this one? He is needs he help. in the background? And, John um, Malkovich just wants to get a paycheck. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you can't blame that. You All go, right. girl. So, is there anything you didn't like about this movie? Um, some of the the pacing wasn't great for me, just because I I want things to keep happening and happening, and that's unrealistic. But that's my opinion. Did the pacing feel to you like ru- rush hour traffic, where you speed up and slow down? Yeah, speed it was up a bit slow like. Down? That... I'd get really into it, and then, like, a lull would happen, and mm-hmm. I'm just waiting for something, and it, I think the anticipation of waiting made me a little frustrated. I think that might be a, that might have been on purpose, that might have been part of the movie. I don't know. They want you to, you know, if it is, Netflix, you guys are dicks. Um, it, if I had to pick something, if I had to get picky with this, and I had to pick something... Pick, say pick or picky again. Pick. Okay, great. Picky. Go ahead. I, the, I don't know. There wasn't really anything I, like, like the pacing, like you said, the stop and start, the go fast and slow down thing, I, that, that, that I didn't like, but other than that, like, I didn't mind it. If I had to pick something, it would be that, it would be the same as yours, but I thought this was a really good movie. I thought it was well put together. It actually kept my attention. The whole time, which is strange for me because usually I'm like dicking around on my phone and you, doing you stuff were like that. On your yeah, phone. for like the like it started a little slow, but then like when it when shit started to kick off, she started to kick off, and it had my interest the in, like the rest of the movie. So, I mean, maybe the semi slow start and the pacing a little bit, maybe, but that would be me splitting hairs to try to try to find something. Like it's not the perfect movie. It's not the perfection. Mm. <laughs> I had to slide a dad joke in there. But I thought it was a very well put together movie. Cast very well, shot very well. And the, eff- the, eff- the effects were good. What more could you really ask for? Well, you want buckets of blood and yeah. more gore. So, it's not that kind of movie. It's fine. Alright. Rating. I give it a solid 4 out of 5. I had a really good time. I liked it. I feel like um, there's things that I would personally change to suit my personal tastes. But it was a really good movie, and I would watch it again. I would definitely recommend it for other people to watch. I definitely would tell would tell people, especially if you have any type of musical ba- background, and you ever had any any type of formal formal tr- uh, training, you can understand the 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 push, the devotion, and the. Mm-hmm. Willing to do anything to achieve the perfection. I will give this a 4.5 out of 5. I thought it was a very a very good movie. The only thing this movie actually lacked 
is I'm not saying there needs to be like a, a huge comedy type of thing in there. There was none. But there at was all. none. It was this was a dry. super serious movie, which is cool. But in order for me in order for me to give a movie like a five out of five, I need to have some type of not like a joke, but some type of funny moment in it. Some type of even before we learn about all the horrible stuff that happens in this movie, at the very beginning there could have been some type of little like joke, little little funny quip, if you will. But I uh, four point five out of five for me. I would definitely recommend this to everybody. This will be like my new movie. Like yo, you need to go watch this movie. So this was a fun time. Mm -hmm. You had a good time. Yes, I had a great time. So. Those were our thoughts. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. We'd love to know what you thought of the movie. What would you change in the movie if you had the option or add to it or subtract from it? Let us know. Uh, like the video if you did like the video. Uh, hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And the solo and reviews with the groom are available in podcast form on iTunes, thanks to the Farsighted Network. And please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators, because they are the perfection. Hmm. Hmm. You can find me on Twitter under Repeat Groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch under Repeat Ray Animator, where me and my idiot friends play idiot video games and act like morons. But it's entertaining for the masses. So... You know what really fooled me about this movie? Hmm. I thought this movie was going to be about you. You are my perfection. Oh, shut up. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye. bye.